Glock 21 Gen 4 is finally here. <laughs> yes, Glock 21 Generation 4 with the new features and the old features that we have come to know with good old Glock. They get it right. They got it right. Originally, they have made improvements over the years on perfection, quote-unquote correct, and uh, they get better and better. That was the first magazine, the first shots I had fired with this gun. Maybe the first shots fired, period, other than, I guess, the test firing. Just decided to do it that way again on this one. I have not fired it, uh, but I'm going to fire it some more. So, as you can tell, we have some magazines to fire this gun. This is a T&E gun. Glock sent this to me. And I'm going to test it and evaluate it. <laughs> we're actually, we're just going to have fun with it. Testing a Glock is a pretty easy proposition, isn't it? You notice the uh, Gen 4 features there, the big mag release and grip. And we've got the rails, uh, uh, the uh, different texture on the grip, as I kind of like, the replaceable back straps, multiple back strap feature. We, uh, We've gone through this before. We're not going to take a lot of time with it, but you know you have the dual recoil spring and the Gen 4s that uh, has caught some criticism, but they've tended to work pretty well in all the guns I've had. Uh, the Glock 19 took a little breaking in, and it's doing fine. Still have it and like it a lot. Uh, so anyway, I'm happy with it. I kind of like the recoil characteristics you get with the new Gen 4 spring. No complaints. So we'll see, though. This gun has not been fired. Until today, so let's take some more shots with it. Put some of these magazines in my pouches. Fire these are 230 grain factory rounds, and uh, they get the job done. So let's uh, put a couple in my waist and load some up. 45, 230 grain, and put some ears on, and let's play a little bit. Got my Phobos holster here, and we got a target up again. We keep saying we're going to post one of these. On, uh, on eBay, and we'll try to remember to do this one. <laughs> okay, seems to shoot pretty much right on, like Glocks are famous for, right? All right, good old 45. What else needs to be shot? I think the gong could use a couple of hits. Oh, we've got to figure out where to hold first. All right. Slow down. Let's hold right in the middle and see what happens. <laughs> okay. Getting a little wild. But guess what? We have more ammo. Okay, calm down now. Let's hit it. Okay, I figured out where to hold. Imagine that. Let's come back here a little closer and see where to hold. Yeah, right there it looks like. Alright. Let's go ahead and take those two liters out before we uh, splatter them. <laughs> oh, good job. Get that other guy over there. Good. Got another magazine of ammo here. All right. Looks like a big 45. Ah, feels good. Slinging those big chunks of lead. And I think we have a few more over here. So let's grab them and shoot them. Again, 230 grain ammo, just regular ball ammo. Look at that. Don't you love to dirty them up and 
make them smoke. Good old block in 45 ACP. Classic caliber. Let's go across the hill and uh, figure out where to hold. Wow, boy, the sun's on some of those guys. They're hard to see. We'll start on the uh, turkeys in the middle. I can see them better. Uh, see if I can figure out where we want to hold on them. Guess right there. And right there. And right there. Uh-huh, smart aleck. Hey, he will be a tough target one. You better not waste a lot of ammo on here. Let's try it, pigs. <laughs> I like the way those big heavy targets are they're slow to fall. They're very rewarding when you hit one. <laughs> now that big old ram up there on the right uh, doesn't want to fall usually. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's better. Nice. Take three more shots here close. See what do I have? I have uh, yeah. All right, let's have some fun. Am I hot? Yeah, I'm hot. All right, let's get this guy out of the way before he calls his truck. Yeah. done, I do believe. Let's burn one more magazine for good measure. Okay? For good measure. Let's get with the machine gun test. Alright. I mean, it is a T&E &E gun. We've got to test it to see how fast it will fire, or actually how fast my finger is capable of firing on any given day. So, uh, what can I say? First time uh, I shot the gun, it arrived new. I, as always, I re-lube them with a little valve stall, just to keep things consistent. It's a lube I like, and I, that way I know I can't blame it on the lube, being under-lubed or lack of lube or over-lubed. So that's the only thing I did to this gun. Brought it out and uh, put it through its paces. So, Gen 4, Glock 21. If you like a big bore Glock, uh, it just doesn't get much better than this, does it? And you can know what I'm going to say, don't you? Because after shooting this thing that much, uh, life is good.